we today? It's only the video to come. Uh, okay, it's a, it's a live stream. I can always redo it. G'day everyone, it's Zoe the Video Confidence Coach here with your weekly live stream. So um, we're just checking to make sure that we've got everything and that, we're, um, that we've shared it to everyone and we're making sure that we get all the notifications. I believe I set everything up so it should be all good to go. But as we always do um, at our weekly live streams is that we ask... Ooh, I don't have my notes. Whoops. Is that we ask you guys to comment, share, and like if you know anyone who would be interested in learning about some podcast today. Because that is our theme for this week. Um, not theme, per se. That is our video for this week, is podcasts that you would recommend. Or feel free to comment below any podcast that you would want me to listen to or anyone interested in doing video. So we have a great list of podcasts that we listen to regularly, either weekly, um, bi-weekly or, um, you know, every month, depending on how how well they roll around. And you guys will be seeing in today's live stream about how that all goes through. Um, so like I said, make sure that you share your um, share this live to anyone who'd be interested in learning more about podcasting um, or what podcasts to listen to. If you're a podcast fiend like me, I have a lot of podcasts that I do listen to on the regular. I kind of listen to, I was checking my stats um, on my um, podcast to catch on my phone. Um, I think I listened to about, I think it's something like about an average of about four to five hours a day of listening to podcasts. And this is because, you know, when you're walking around, I listen to it. When I'm about to fall asleep, I listen to it. And I listen to it throughout the day when I get home, when I cook tea. I listen to podcasts all the time. So I think four to five hours is a pretty conservative estimate, even for me. But <laughs> so make sure that if you have um, any questions that you do want to ask. Good day, Matt. Uh, wave. <laughs> And that if you do have any questions that you do want to ask, we um, feel free to comment below and I'll make sure that we answer your questions as we do. So before I move on to the actual list itself, I want to talk to you guys a little bit of how today's live stream is going to go. We're going to um, talk a little bit um, about podcasting, what it is for people that may not know what it is or um, who it's for um, and who maybe want a couple of details as to um, how it re how it currently works because um, some people are a bit unaware of what actually a podcast is they've heard about it in the stratosphere of business or they've heard about it in terms of like marketing and like everyone's oh I've got a new podcast and it's not entirely clear what it is so um, a podcast is essentially audio um, is essentially radio on demand is the best way to put it so podcasts are a form of radio that instead of you having to tune into a radio at the right time or at the right station to listen to your favorite host or listen to you know a specific topic you have the internet to pick and choose which podcast you want to listen to. You download them to your phone or you live stream them very much like what you're doing now through if you guys are live. And if you're not live, feel free to comment below. Hashtag re, re God. Um, and what you would do is that you'd listen to the radio. So it's not, um, people do have video podcasts, which are essentially the same thing that you download on demand. But um, these podcasts can, you know, be as short as, you know, three to five minutes daily um, or, you know, upwards of four and a half hours or more um, and podcasts ranging through all topics everything from um, business and video like what we're going to be discussing today all the way to specific niche subjects like um, succulent gardening yes there's a podcast about it and I'm sure there's actually a multiple <laughs> multitude of podcasts around it um, and we've always got a lot of people starting new podcasts a lot of people retiring from podcasting so um and the reason that it's become so prevalent um over the past say um in australia over the past i'd say three to four years but in america it's definitely been like you know more than a decade um of podcasts being a thing um is because it's so accessible because all you really need is a microphone a thing to record it and internet that's really all you need for a podcast of course you can go high with that you can get fancier microphones you can get a fancy editing suite but essentially all it is is a thing to record your voice a thing to edit your voice and a thing to upload your voice <laughs> essentially what you need um, and because podcasting in itself is a fairly easy thing to accomplish like process wise but also upkeep wise as well so um, to upkeep your podcast you would use a hosting software so that's very much like a library you have to put a book in if you want to put your book in the library you'd you know 
most authors would pay to have a book created and it would go through the library. That's the same thing for a podcast host. They would, you'd pay a monthly fee, you know, 25, 30 bucks a month, depending on how many things you're uploading. And they would keep it up there in the cloud for um, Apple iTunes, um, Stitcher, any of the podcast um players to take it from your library whenever they need or whenever someone wants to download it and it's there for them to use so um, with podcasting feeds um, you have a multitude of people using them and the best thing that we have um, recommended is that um, we run regular workshops so of course I'm not gonna <laughs> let you guys know because I've had a few people mention to me at live streams is like so I don't mention your workshops because I'm not in Geelong that's okay. We're going to be moving our podcasts eventually to um, webinars and to online um, methods um, soon enough. We're just practicing them on real people so we can get your questions and get your feedback and make sure we're making it um, pretty much perfect. So then when we put it online, it's a nice and easy for you to digest. So we've got a um, monthly uh, workshop that we're running called Start My Podcast. And essentially it's what it says on the tin is that we get you to start your podcast by actually, you know, going through the bumps, putting through a script and recording it right here in the studio. And that's part of the Creative Geelong line of workshops. So I'll give you a couple of details about that more when we actually get going um, and about halfway through when we take a little break to discuss a few things. But I just want to ask how you guys are going. If you had any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll keep an eye on all of that for you. But as we get going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something fancy. And for you guys on IGTV, unfortunately, you won't be able to see this, but you'll be able to see this if you catch it on our Facebook, YouTube or Instagram. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly, I think I'm going to highlight this section. Beautiful. And then on three, two, one. Yes, it was a transition and now I'm in the corner. Oh my God. So now I'm in the corner and you can see the screen that I'm looking at essentially. And what I'm showing on the screen is, oh, um, I'm shocked. You can see my podcast. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't notice it was there. <laughs> I kid, I put it there. But I'm going to be showing you on screen um, the podcast that we listen to on a regular basis. Um, and of course, we listen to our own because we create it and, and we upload it and we put it all together and blah, 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 blah. So <laughs> essentially, this is the podcast that we do. Um, we do. Uh, we did do three um, podcasts a week and then it became a little bit too much for us, especially since we're on our own. So um, well, when I say we, it's always the collective we um, uh, that it just got a bit too much for us. So then we decided to do two a, week, two a month. So we upload the live stream that you're listening to right now and we put it to a we put it up on the Apple podcast for people to listen to. We added it down a bit so it's a little bit more cohesive and a bit clearer. And then from there, we. Uh, and then we put it all together for you guys. And then we have another um, episode after that. Um, so, yeah, you can. Um, what I'm currently looking at at the moment is the Apple Podcasts preview. So um, Apple, um, the iTunes store, what's the iTunes store? It's now the Apple Podcast store thing um, or whatever. Um, that's one of the main places that you'd want to get your podcast seen. It's because a lot of people base their analytics. Um, people, um, if you get recommended on Apple Podcasts, there's a good chance that you're going to become a popular podcast. Um, and people ask that you do leave reviews on um, Apple Podcasts um, through your Apple account. We will ask you to do that, but of course we'll do that at the end, <laughs> as we always do. But you can see when you go to um, Apple Podcasts, be it on either a Mac or a Windows, what have you, you go to the on, um, to the website, you can see here, it'll take you to Apple Podcasts, the actual program that you would use. You'd scroll down and you can see the details as to what the podcast is about, a short little bio, a um, image of what the actual cover, so um, the image that you will see on most of the podcast or the styling, so make sure that you're getting the right thing. And as you scroll down, you get to see the podcasts that have been featured as of late. You know, um, recently, you know, we put up our full workshop, um, which a lot of people were really happy to see. Um, and we'll be doing our la um, latest video made easy workshop that we'll put up there soon enough. Um, but of course, we need to edit it and that takes a little bit more time. But if you ever do, if you ever are interested in video production and you're just, uh, you know, don't have enough time to sit down, well, then make sure that you check out the Do Video podcast um, on you know, on all good podcast catchers, like I said, it's in the cloud. And all you need to do is just type in do video podcast, a video confidence coach or do video podcast Zoe, 
you know, there's a combination of that and you'll be able to find it fairly easily. We are still new. When I say a big, use big quotes there, new, um, like because we're, you know, 30 podcasts in and, you know, almost at 50 soon enough. So we're, we're doing a pretty decent job. It's just Apple hasn't picked us up yet in the sense of promoting us to other people. But that's OK. We don't need that just yet. So are you guys ready to move on to the next bit? Feel free to comment below if you are, because we've already discussed about how um, um, podcasts can be beneficial to you and why you would need them and how to use them yourself. And then we are going to move on to podcasts that I listen to on a regular basis to help me build my industry knowledge. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to podcasts that I listen to on a regular basis to help me build my um, video knowledge. And also they speak it, um, all these podcasts do it in a way where it's nice and clear for the audience, no matter what level you are in terms of your marketing knowledge, in terms of your technology knowledge, or in terms of what you, you may or may not know. Now, of course, this isn't a definitive list. Like I said, I listen to a minimum of four to five hours of podcasting a day. So um, this is not a definitive list. This is just a nice trimmed list that um, of podcasts that we listen to very regularly. And then from there, we'll possibly give you a bigger list maybe next year you just guys have to comment that if you want that or not so are we ready to move on to the next one i think we are okay so the first podcast that we definitely recommend for anyone interested in doing video or doing marketing um on, on a decent scale for their business highly recommend todd hartley's video marketing mastery video marketing mastery um, it's a, um, he has an intro that comes in of a very American woman. Um, and of course, you know, Todd Hartley is American. Um, he runs a business called Wirebuzz, um, where they do a lot of video productions, um, around the world. Um, and it's just as an Australian, um, it kind of, you know, makes it quite apparent when the American accent is very far forward and you're like, Ooh, okay, there we go. And then we get going. <laughs> But um, as the podcast states, it's about online video strategy, YouTube tips and video production. Again, pretty much straight up my alley. So all the stuff that he talks about is very insightful in regards to um, how start, I'm always starting off about um, return on investment when it comes to video, um, how to script your videos. Um, most of his um, podcasts is leaning a little bit more towards people with experience. So he does talk a lot about um, methodology, strategy, all that type of thing. But it's stuff that you can easily pick up with someone who is maybe not entirely um, knowledgeable about the, about the industry or the situation. You're easy, you'll be easy enough to pick up most of the stuff that, um, that Todd talks about. And so say, for example, one of his recent podcasts is called Discover How to Maximize Your Prod... <laughs> Discover how to maximize your prospect's attention span. And that's one major thing that a lot of people do get confused when it comes to video is that people's attention spans are so short nowadays that, you know, smaller than a goldfish. And that's why videos need to be short, punchy and wham. And that's not true. And as Todd has mentioned many times in his podcast, it's not that people's attention spans have gotten shorter. It's just that their will to listen to something they're not interested in has gotten shorter. When... Um, when I say back in the olden days, and I say olden days, anything over than like 10 or 20 years, you had to sit down and listen to the radio to get back to your show. You had to sit back and listen for the ads to go past to get back to your favorite TV show. You had to wait and listen for the ads to go past in the movie before you could get to watch your movie. And people perceived, you know, you know, attention span was maybe they probably weren't paying attention, but you didn't have any analytics to show that. And when I say analytics, I mean numbers um, and goals and stuff like that, that you can see now with the power of the internet, we can see how many times people have watched a video for how long, if they came back and watched it again, uh, when they dropped off, when they got back on. And you have all these details there that you can see on a very large scale. And of course, when it came um, time back in say even in the 90s we didn't have that much power when it came to analytics and also when you bought an advertisement in the paper all you, all the ad, all the paper could really give you in terms of numbers or analytics was hey this is the place that um, most people buy our newspaper from uh, most people that buy our newspaper are you know the ages of 20 to 35 probably they didn't know that for sure 
and they're going to say, okay, the bigger the ad, the nicer colored the ad, more people are going to see it. Not necessarily. You have no numbers backing that up. And they didn't really have that idea either. But now that um, we have all these numbers and all these analytics and this big data is what it's called to back up the information Todd is talking about in this podcast, which I believe I've listened to most of the time when I listen to podcasts and we when we go through this list, um, most of the time when we listen to podcasts, we, when I listen to podcasts, I have a tendency of getting the nuggets or getting the stuff that really applies to me in my situation, writing it down, putting it in my notion, which is a, a note taking application. Um, and it allows me to put it into something that I can actually use. So it can in, in the sense of, I can put it into a live stream, like I'm going to give you guys or make it into another video or maybe put it into a blog. I am working on that. I'm just terrible when it comes to writing, but I am working on it. Um, but I can actually use this information to help inform you guys, but also it helps inform myself and it helps me teach myself how this works um, and hopefully get better over time. So then I can help better perform for you guys, better coach you guys, better teach you guys how to use the strategy to your advantage. Um, so that's something that I definitely recommend when you watch, um, watch <laughs> when you listen to Todd Hartley, um, and do check out Wirebuzz. The website's pretty slick. They know what they're talking about. Of course, most of the time, and the people that are going to be listening to this podcast are probably, <laughs> the people that are listening to this podcast are probably not the same people that are going to be Todd Hartley's clients, of course, because these guys, um, th most of the clients that Wirebuzz works with are at that large corporate level. They have a lot of, you know, funnels and things to work out as opposed to small and medium businesses. But again, most of the stuff that he talks about is pure gold. He has a lot of um, data and a lot of knowledge to back him up in the years that he's done this. And he's a little bit like me in, the, well, I don't want to back. He's a little bit like me in the sense of when he first started, um, doing video, that he was that videographer. He was out on the ground, pounding the pavement, doing all the videos, you know, ba -da 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 -da, doing it all, doing it all, doing it all. And now he has a team to do that work for him. Very much like what we do at Video Confidence Coach. I have a team of videographers to do the actual videoing for me while I concentrate on the strategy, on the scripting, on the person in front of the camera, on the clientele, on, on the, all the other aspects that yes, videographers do have a little bit of a knack of possibly working that in. But as a videographer, and if anyone of you are videographers, feel free to comment below, but you're a bit concentrating on the technical aspect of getting the right shot, making sure it sounds good, making sure it looks good, making sure nothing can go wrong, that you're technically safe and sound. You don't really have time to deal with um, any of the confidence issues or any of the issues that the person in front of the camera might be having because you got to concentrate on what your job is. And that's why we at the Video Confidence Coach work on both the strategy, so the big picture element, but also the person in front in front of the camera, because, you know, it's always best to be in front of the camera talking to the audience genuinely, but most people don't have the confidence to do so. Do you have the confidence to represent your brand or your company? If you don't, that's fine. I completely understand. But if you can't put your face to your company, what was what would really be the point of you being the head of your company. Just something to think. So now we'll move on to the second one that we recommend. Second one that we recommend is called the Gold Digger podcast. Now I didn't say gold. G'day Body Works Bliss. Ugh. There we go. I waved. <laughs> now um, remember we didn't say goal. Oops. There we go. I missed it. <laughs> now remember we didn't say gold as in the shiny gold. Hey. We said goal as in orientation, as in my goal. And this is a podcast from Jenna, um, Kuch, Jenna Kuchner. Jenna Kuch. I will get her name right. <laughs> so this is the podcast, the Goal Digger podcast. Remember, I didn't say gold. I said goal as in orientation. And this is a podcast from Jenna Kuchner. Um, and she has a lot of great podcasts that discuss everything not specifically video related, but everything around business um, and running it yourself and doing the hustle, but doing it in an organic way that actually makes sense to you. Um, most of her podcast episodes are framed at, or so, should I say, aimed at women or female entrepreneurs. But most of the time, most of um, her content very heavily relates to anyone in business. She does a combination of interview podcasts where she interviews people that she knows that um, either have an expertise in a specific area or um, are able to give you insights as a small business owner on a specific thing and get 
you know, Jenna's advice, um, as well as doing um, like shorter um, podcasting episodes where she directs you as the listener directly and talks about specific things, very much like what I do with the live streams here, where I direct to you as the listener, as the viewer, um, and answer your questions as a whole, as opposed to actually having an interview with someone. So very much like what we do on the Do Video podcast. But yeah, most of the stuff that she does is brilliant. Um, I'm on her emailing list and all the stuff that she does um, on her podcast is true to her. There's no real gimmicks. Um, and of course, there's some things that may you know, interest you or may not. There's a lot of podcasts that I listen to fairly regularly where I read the title and I uh, read a little bit of the description before I even consider downloading it to listen to. Because there's some... Um, you know, podcasts that come out like Jenna, like, which is like twice a week. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm not interested in a specific topic or I'm not interested in a specific question that she's answering or asking. Well, then I won't listen to it. That's your choice as a consumer, as the person listening to these podcasts and getting the information out of them. You have the choice to listen to whether or not you don't or do listen to them. So, um, and of course, you know, Jenna, myself, um, Todd, Anyone who lists, uh, anyone who runs podcasts, you know, won't be offended if you don't listen to one podcast or even in a few, because it's all about the community that you grow when you host a podcast and when you run a podcast over time and you when you build it and build that community to help and serve people. And essentially, that's what you're going to be doing through all your marketing, all your business when it comes to educating your business. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Um, body work bliss. Of course. Thank you for listening. You're very familiar. I might, might remember that. So that's one that, again, is generally business-based, but really good for creative businesses. Now, this next one um, is the... Ugh, must remember, I'm a little bit tired from today, and I'll tell you why during the break. The next podcast... The next podcast we have is Girl Boss Creative, a podcast for women entrepreneurs by Taylor Bradford. Now, again, it is in the even in the title, it says women creative entrepreneurs, but it does apply a lot to um, male entrepreneurs in the creative space, but also people in general business. She does come from that perspective because um, uh, Taylor has run a lot of businesses. I think she's currently in the wedding rental space at the moment with renting actual items and like caravans and stuff. Um, she was having a lot of issues um, in the state of Texas. Yeah, in the state of Texas where she was in Dallas, I think. Yes, where she was dealing with a couple of issues in regards to, um, you know, getting the council to give you permission to be like, come fill your driveway when you're out in the industrial estates or, you know, allowing you to have power to your building. There's a lot of stuff that she's that she says in regards to business or a couple of personal things. But a lot of the stuff that she talks about um, is a lot of, you know, how to set up your email list, like it says on screen, or setting yourself apart with marketing. And she does these um, 20 to about 45 minute episodes where she goes through and almost pumps you up a little bit in regards to getting your emotions flowing and get your, you know, getting ready to be like, oh, yes, I can do this. Oh, yes. Um, you know, you listen to it, anything to do with, say, for example, you know, setting yourself apart with, um, with marketing and it really gets you going in the sense of, okay, I can do this. I can totally, you know, do this with my business. I've got you know points to go. I got one, two, three. I'm definitely going to do it. And I highly recommend that you put those to action or at least give yourself a goal of saying, okay, tomorrow I'm going to do this, 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 like giving yourself that goal is a nice thing, especially after listening to a podcast from Taylor. And she also runs um, a Facebook group, a Facebook group. So all the podcasts that I have mentioned so far, and also that I will mention in the future of this list, will do have um, Facebook groups where you can join and you can, you know, get in touch with the host, but also you can get um, updates when the podcast is live, but also updates in general when people ask questions, especially the business podcasts. You can learn a lot from them and ask other people who are supporters of the podcast and who listen to the podcast as well, who are probably in the same situation or you or as have been in the same situation as you, and they can really learn a lot from you. And you can learn a lot from them too. So that's one from... That's one from Taylor. So moving on to a, a different subject. So again, this is general business, but this one is an Australian. Um, his name is Jack DeLosa from the podcast. You can probably guess, but the name is the Jack DeLosa podcast from Jack DeLosa. Now, Jack is a, um, if you ever heard of, have you ever heard of a, um, 
older learning group called the Entourage. He is the um, founder of the Entourage. Um, and he also is a prolific entrepreneur as well as doing a whole bunch of different um, business related things um, over a very short period of time. And I very much enjoy listening to his podcast because he does have guests on every now and again that give you a lot of incredible insight into whatever the specific topic is. Um, and a lot of his stuff that he talks about is really interesting to consume and learn from personally in regards to the entourage itself like the the business that he founded and is um i think running or like he's running in the background i'm not entirely sold on the premise of the entourage um and i've had a couple of people that i've met who have experienced it or have actually attended it as students and i haven't heard great things but <laughs> you know you know, businesses are businesses. So and not everyone's going to have a great opinion of you. And I think that's possibly the same with Jack. So, but again, he gives good content. He gives good education. And if you can take away one or two bits of gold nugget to, to use in your business, that's really what matters. Um, he's not as consistent as he probably could be when it comes to uploading content, but the content is there. Um, it's useful when you need it and you can listen to it whenever you feel like because that's how podcasts work. You can just download it and use it when you can. All right, so we're going to do two more, then we'll take a break and then we'll carry on. So the next one. <laughs> so for anyone who's actually watching right now, a lot of people are being like, what? This is... This <laughs> so this is a podcast by Katie Seller and it's called The Boss as F Podcast. Now, I guess... I guess that you can guess what the F stands for. And this is a podcast um, aimed at women because um, Katie Seller is a woman um, and she's, yeah, she's about to have a kid at some point. I think at some point. Yeah, fa fairly soon. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, she's having um, a kid by herself. Like she's run a successful business called Metal Marvels. And she also ran, she also runs a coffee company as well. Um, but she has a lot of experience with um, online businesses and e-commerce and hustling um, by yourself, like running a business by yourself, for yourself, um, and, you know, bringing a team with you. Um, and she also uh, runs like I said, metal marvels and a coffee business, but around um, like that profanity side of stuff. And personally, when I first found her, I was intrigued by the name as anyone would. Um, and then I started listening to the podcast. Of course, there are going to be some swear words in there because, you know, it's in the title. But also Katie is not um, apologetic when it comes to swear words. Personally, for my branding, I don't use a whole lot of swear words. When I first started, I did because when I'm outside of business, I do swear a lot because it's my natural inclination to do so. But when it comes to business, I have a tendency of pulling back now when it comes to swearing or using that type of language, because a lot of people just get too distracted or turned off when it comes to it for me to actually get you guys to consume the content or consume the ideas. But for Katie and, and when, if you do Google Metal Marvels, you'll find out why, uh, you can see that the language that she uses isn't used in an offensive term, except for, you know, when it's negatively impacting someone, but it's not used as a negative slur. It's just a period or a dot point or a comma in regards to the grammar of how she speaks. And that's the same thing with a lot of people, especially in Australia. We use the C word a lot in, in regular conversations because like I said, it's like a point. You can use it as a noun, as a verb, as an adjective, what have you, you can use it for anything. Um, and as Katie goes through and when she talks about business, she has a very unique um, way of explaining it. But also because of the experience that she has about building up these businesses, purchasing um, underperforming businesses and making them thrive. And, um, you know, when it comes to um, purchasing from wholesalers, um, actually doing the grind of setting up, you know, um, shipping manifests and putting that all together. Sorry, I don't think it's called shipping manifests, but all that stuff that she has a lot of experience in. So if you are in a business that is e-commerce or product related, heavily product related, I highly recommend listening to her podcast. She has taken a break because as I, as I mentioned at the start, she is pregnant. Um, she doesn't have a partner. So she's, you know, just going to have the baby by herself and being raised 
with her and her family. Um, so she has taken a break. Um, I think the last, yeah, the last episode was in April, but she probably would pick it up. She does run a regular um, Instagram account and blog, I believe. I think it's called Boss, um, Boss Baby, Boss Lady, Boss, Boss Lady Baby, Boss Lady Baby. I think that's what it is. Um, and again, I not really so much into kids but I do enjoy checking in with her but it's kind of nice to see that a woman can be you know self-made hustle to the point where she runs a successful business multiple successful businesses that she can you know go off have a baby chill you know raise a kid and still do the thing that she loves to do so I'm quickly going to go to this next podcast and then we're going to take a break so the next podcast that I highly recommend that you listen to for any business um, is called Secrets of the Most Productive People by The Fast Company. So um, the Secrets of the Most Productive People do um, interview style episodes with two women, one who's a New Zealander and um, yeah, one, yeah, so Kate Davis and Asana um, and they do a lot of great work at the fast company personally i haven't researched the fast company as of yet but i find it really intriguing they ask a lot of poignant questions and they ask a lot of interesting questions too um they have a um and it's actually quite interesting to listen to them even when a topic maybe doesn't interest me per se or it's about um specifically how do you manage a team where you know right now i don't have a team just yet i still listen to it because i find it interesting and engaging to the point where yeah i can use this stuff in the future and then as a business owner you probably will and you might not use that information right now but you'll definitely use it in the future so secrets of the most productive people i believe is a book or at least it sounds like a book title that I'm thinking of. But all the stuff that they talk about is um, really witty, really fun, um, and the quality is top notch. And you can also get a couple of ideas where they actually implement some of the stuff that they actually get into the interview with. So they interview someone who is, um, you know, how to ask and land for a promotion. So someone who is a expert in that field, and then they actually implement that into the workplace. They actually implement that into you know how to do that thing um so let's say like say for example what's the one that i can talk about yeah so work smarter how to stay productive while working for yourself again so that's not specifically corporate that is um, specifically for sole traders and businesses and people who run a small team and this they get um you know Chris Denson, who is the the guest, they come in, they talk about strategies on how to improve it, and then they actually go do it. And then they come back a week later and film and film. They record the rest of the podcast after they've done the strategies that Chris has recommended. And then from there, they can say, okay, I tried this strategy. It didn't personally work for me, but I can see how it works for others, or it just hasn't worked. I don't see how this works. Done. And it's really nice to see that you have an interview with someone and you take away the strategies from them and they actually implement it in their own business and you can see what worked for them. Of course, everyone is different. Every business is different, but they can see how it works. And as a consumer, you can listen to it and understand, okay, so we had a strategy about, you know, weekly team meetings. Okay, I'm not entirely sure about that. And then they implement it and then they go, yeah, this was a, not a good idea. Maybe it's a good idea to have five minute power hours at the start of every day or what have you, what changes. So I highly recommend this podcast, but we are going to have a little bit of a break and not a break as in I'm going to go away, a break as in I'm going to chill and then I'm going to let you guys know But why I'm so tired today. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there on the screen. <laughs> G'day, Les. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. So on the screen now for anyone watching on Facebook and YouTube, you can see that we've got the Video Made Easy workshop coming. And yes, Les, I'll be messaging about that probably later this week. Um, so the Video Made Easy workshop is our um, state-of-the-art um, primary workshop that we get all of our people who are interested in doing video to do themselves. Um, it's a two hour workshop where you learn everything from where to begin, like all the way from scripting to technology to actually putting into action. Um, and you can check it out on 
um, the Eventbrite website. As I said, it's on the 20th of November. It goes from 5.30 to 7.30 and it's located in Geelong. Um, and of course, as most people have asked, we are definitely going to be putting this workshop as a online course or something that you can consume online. And as we said, um, like we do with all of our podcasts, um, all of our podcasts, with all of our workshops, we are just refining it, tweaking it a little bit to make sure it works. And then we'll put it on an online course for our international audience to consume and to have a go at and to learn. But I highly recommend that if you are interested in video or even just want to know the ins and outs of doing video for yourself or your business or your hobby, definitely check out Video Made Easy. And also the next workshops that we have is Lights, Camera, Edit, which is a workshop that we're doing on behalf of NAB, um, the NAB Village, which is in Geelong on Broham Street, Broham, yeah, Broham Street. Um, and it's a little bit more of a very much of a tighter workshop, shall I say, where we concentrate specifically on um, using a specific app to actually edit your video and get it out there online, boom, bam, boom, like really quickly. We don't divulge everything because that's what we do in our Video Made Easy workshops, but it's a workshop that you can use just to get you going if that's what you want to do. If you want to create the content and just learn how to edit and film it from your phone and get it up online, then this is the workshop for you. So it's called Lights, Camera, Edit. And um, you can find that again on our Eventbrite page. And for people who are in the Geelong Small Business Network, it's a Facebook um, group on Facebook um, and it's a free thing to invite. We run um, GSBD, Geelong Small Business Development Days, mornings I should say, and we're holding a Is Video Right for My Business event. So we're going to be running that on the 12th. Um, of November. So if you are interested in coming to that, feel free. It's free. Um, You just might have to join the Geelong Small Business Network. So you have those details for when you need it. And of course, it's always good to register to actually know where it it is happening. (laughs) So I'm going to quickly move back to full screen and I'm going to reposition my little head here. Um, And I'm just going to let you guys know what happened today for us. So for us at Creative Geelong, we had a discovery day. So we run these um, discovery days regularly um, with uh, kids under the age of 13. So um, we we team up with um, all the people in the Creative Geelong space and we team up with Batforce. Um, Batforce is the Bowen Ball is the Bowen Adolescent Task Force here in Geelong. Um, and they are upstairs to us. That's why I'm gesturing that way. They're upstairs to us. And they help out kids um, through all ages. And they currently run classes or v- VCAT or VAT. Yeah, VCAT? VCAT classes for years 10s, 11s and 12s. For, so for any kids that are actually struggling when it comes to um, following the class curriculum, because I, I remember, it's only, yeah, it's about six years ago now, but I still remember the intensity of... Um, year 10 11 and 12 and just being bombarded by the by be the by the knowledge that they were trying to instill in us to pass the exams but also i never quite understood why we were learning these specific things how am i going to implement this into my business they could never give me an answer and how am i going to use this to get a trade never give me an answer so for all the kids that come regularly to the vcat sessions that they have at bar one uh, that they have at the Bat Force, let's just call it Bat Force, um, that they have at the Bat Cave, which is the actual location up there, they actually learn how to use, they actually get the extra help that they need to succeed when it comes to schooling, and they also get the knowledge that they would to actually get into their apprenticeships to apply and to learn more from there. So that's what we love working with them. So, And they also work a lot with the local schools, primary school and high schools. And today, and we're also the same last week, which if you're at the live stream, you would um, remember. And also next week, but we're going to be in Sydney. So unfortunately, I can't make it. But the Discovery Days, we had a whole bunch of kids um, throughout throughout here. Um, we had different sessions of groups of about, th- yeah, about 10 to 13 kids. Um, all the kids were um, uh, English as a second language. So these are kids um, of migrant parents who have either come over to Australia within the past um, six months to two years where their English isn't at best because obviously why would you need to learn English if you you know lived in your country of origin and you come to and you come to Australia fairly recently so we had a lot of fun with the kids today learning about how sound works so um, we have a lot of recordings of them singing their songs in their um, mother languages Um, and it was quite beautiful to see where a whole bunch of kids were really shy to begin with and then by the end of the 50 minute session they were really like opening up they were they were like 
their eyes were wide and they were smiling and they were really enjoying themselves, which was really nice to see. Of course, it's tiring working with kids. This is why I work with adults. I can still have some energy by the end of it. But working with kids is just a really great achievement. And I really enjoyed working with these kids today. So I highly recommend if you are, you know, if you work with kids on a regular basis, I highly recommend talking to Dare at Creative Geelong or Lee at Bowen Adolescent Task Force um, to talk about discovery days because we might be holding them more. You know, it just depends on the schools and who needs them and who wants them. But I'm going to take a little break and then we'll get back into the list. All right, ready? Let's do this. So moving back into the list, we've got three more to go. So on the list now, we have the Squiz podcast. Now, for any of our Australian listeners, you would be listening to the Squiz as, hold on, Squiz is a a thing. So um, Squiz is um, Australian cognitive slang for a look. So, you know, did you squiz that magpie? Magpie is a local bird um squiz is to look or to look intently or to look with interest um and a regular news i think it's a daily podcast yeah so it's a daily podcast by these um two um two women two hosts um and they have you know a great media presence online as well where they break everything down um into like digestible you know 30 seconds to a minute understanding of the story or what the update is but also they put it into context when it comes to the two of them discussing after they've read the headlines and a little bit of the biography to just to describe what's going on and and they like they explain it to each other to make sure each other makes sense of what's going on but also in doing so they make it clear and easy for you as a listener to understand okay what's the latest thing hold on what's going on making it nice and clear and they do have a lot of offshoot podcasts as well so if there's something that you're not fully understanding like the hong kong um um, stuff that's going on with hong kong i didn't quite understand what was going on until i listened to their um deep dive podcast on another podcast um that they have um i think it's called squiz in depth or squiz something like that where they went into a lot more depth and now i kind of understand what's going on i think it's a little bit strange why it doesn't just kind of let them deal because it's not like you had control of them originally but meh. politics is politics i'm not in control it doesn't fully affect me but i learned a lot about it so the squiz is a daily podcast um it's set for mainly australians because um you know it's aimed at Australian audience but I'm sure all the information would be applicable to anyone um, overseas listening to us now Um, so I highly recommend that daily podcast to listen to. The next podcast is a generalized business podcast about working and careers so this one is by um, Amantha Iba Imba Imba (laughs) okay all right let's go back I'm so tired but we can do this (laughs) So the next podcast that we listen to is called How I Work by Amantha Iber. Um, And this podcast does a couple of different things a bit differently. It does an interview with a specific person or a specific CEO, someone um, of either importance of their company or in a leadership position, and they learn and get a lot of details from them. So those are like five minutes long. But what um, Amantha does that's really interesting is she does these um, My Favorite Tip or you know, really shortened version. So these episodes ends up being like five minutes long where she takes the one thing that she got from that interview that she did so many weeks ago. And like she gets that um, little snippet that say that 10 second, 20 second snippet from that um, interview and then talks more about it and gives it a little bit more context. And for you as a listener who maybe didn't get a chance to listen to that full interview or maybe a lot like me, I listened to that full interview and then she pulls out this specific tip and I'm like, oh, I didn't think about it that way. And I didn't really. Wow. And that's something that we're going to be implementing into our own podcast. It's just a little bit further down the line. Probably 2020 is when we're going to be implementing it. But I highly recommend listening to this podcast regularly because it's just so interesting and just makes your brain tick about, oh, I listened to that podcast. Oh, I didn't re- I didn't get that from it. And then she provides that different view of focus that really intrigues me and really um, interests me of how she manages to pull that type of information out of those interviews and I feel a lot more enriched and I feel like I'm a lot more informed than I was before I 
you know, going, going out than I was going in. <laughs> And the last podcast I'm going to recommend to you guys today is one from the iHeartRadio um, slash Stuff You Should Know genre of people. They are a um, podcast, I don't want to say juggernaut, but they create a lot of podcasts um, over a period of time. So you'll hear a lot of podcasts um, that are maybe are very popular are run by this group. Um, and this is one um, by Laura Vanderkam. Vendor cam, and it's called Before Breakfast. Now, of course, being the US, it is set on I think it's Pacific um, Pacific Standard Time, so their morning is about Australia's evening. But we always, um, I usually just download it and then listen to it the next day. So when I listen to it in the morning before breakfast, I can listen to it. Um, and their episodes are about five minutes long maximum, um, and they discuss different aspects involving your career, involving your business, involving different things that you can learn about that are a bit, that are easy to consume in about five minutes or less. Um, sometimes I don't always agree with some of the strategies, ideas or goals that she has, but that doesn't automatically mean that you should not listen to what she has to say. Um, and all of the stuff that she talks about are good things to implement into your life um, or good things to know about when the time comes when you actually want to use it for yourself. Like, so, you know, commit random acts of networking. You know, I haven't listened to that specific one today, but... But when it comes to actually networking with other people on a regular basis, which is something we're going to be discussing in a future live stream, um, where, you know, all the stuff that she gives are five minute chunks that's really easily accessible and really easy to understand as someone on the run um, or someone who just really needs to get the information inside their head and use it and use it and actually put it into action. And she also has a fairly soothing voice as well, which is really nice to listen to. (laughs) So. So that's our list for today's um, video um, or podcast. If you're listening to it, you can listen to um, the do video podcast on your podcast catcher of choice. And we'll also be leaving up this live stream on the YouTube channel. So what we want to do now is all I want to ask from you guys is since you can see it on screen is that I would love you guys Um, to review our podcast on Apple Podcasts. So um, you can do this by logging in to um, Apple Podcast Products, which is now, because iTunes is dead, is a separate product um, called Apple Podcasts. So you would log into that using your Apple account. And if you don't, it's pretty easy to create one. And then giving us a five star rating. I usually probably definitely should put that into our regular, um, you know, outros and intros when it comes to the do video podcast. And it's not that we're lazy that we haven't created it. It's just, I'm still figuring out what I want to say and how I want to say it, because usually when it gets to that for, so like the first 30 seconds and the last 30 seconds of a podcast, people have a tendency of skipping because it's just the same intro and outro saying, Hey, review us, rate us, you know, join our crew, join our emailing list, blah, 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 blah. And I don't really want to do that every single time. I just want to be genuine and make sure I get the information to you guys. But also I want to make sure that it's nice and clear. So if you want to know how you can help us say, for example, like reviewing the do video podcast, or hopefully you listen to a couple of our episodes, then review it. Um, I want to make it so that it's genuine, then it makes sense. But I'll probably implement that in the new year, um, that we have a new bumper. So uh, bumper is a technical term so that bumps at the start and bumps at the end of a podcast episode. So it's nice and clear for you guys about, hey, this is what you're listening to. We discuss everything to do with video, blah, 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 what have you. Um, and it gives people an idea of, okay, this is what I'm into. And then they listen to the podcast. And then once they've gotten to the end, they have an idea of, okay, how can you support us? Well, you can join our Patreon or join our group or what have you. And say, for example, for us, we have a video confidence crew on Facebook where you meet a whole bunch of other business owners and people who are starting their video journey and you can learn a lot from them. Um, and of course, I'm there as well (laughs) because it's my group. Um, And then um, also, like you said, review the podcast. Um, Give us five stars. Give us five stars. (laughs) Um, Or subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Do Video. Or subscribe to our YouTube... Or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Video Confidence Coach. So I'm just going to sit up for a sec. Ah. Feel free to ignore that. The microphone fell. (laughs) But... I would like to know any of your comments in regards to um, podcasts. Do you have any 
uh, ones that you recommend or any podcast that you would ask um, other people to listen to. Do you have a podcast? Um, I would love to know personally. (laughs) Um, I would love to know about your podcast, um, about what you do and what you've done differently and how you've grown over time. Because a lot of people in the podcasting world, I'll cut back to a screen of me, shall I? Um, A lot of people in podcasting land, you know, uh, that do podcasts regularly, um, don't really give it a full term. So when I say full term, is that a lot of podcasts stop after about the seven or eight mark, um, seven episodes mark, because people see how much of a commitment it is, how much it is to cre- actually create, you know, regular podcast audio podcast content, and people don't feel like they're really getting anywhere because they don't see an immediate return. They don't see an immediate community backlash or, you know, they don't end up being on the trending page of Apple podcasts within like five or six episodes and then they kind of give up. Of course, the content there is great. They're there for a good message and good help, but there's not a whole lot of stuff behind it. But that's not what we want to do. We want to be able to create regular content for you guys so you can consume and learn and actually action most of the stuff that hopefully you've learned from us today. But we want to make sure that you guys um, actively um, get the information that you're actually seeking. So please comment below um, in comment below this video or send me a direct message or an email if you're too shy to leave a public comment about what you'd want to learn from us. So I can put it into comments really easy and really helpful for you guys. Of course, we do run... Um, regular workshops as we already mentioned in the live stream um we run regular one-on-one coaching we run packages we run went mentoring services we have the whole shebang so if there's anything that you're really wanting specific strategy or help for your particular business feel free to give us a call and we can help we can help stuff out for you i'm really tired i'm really getting to the the rope so i'm gonna finish a little bit earlier than an hour for you guys just because i feel like i'm going to literally fall over my face about how my mouth is just not uh i'm just so tired um the kids were really great today it was just i'm tired um and i don't have a whole lot of energy to begin with so then after helping out the kids today is just got me a little drained (laughs) But what I'm going to be doing is going to be leaving you guys to it. And as I said, feel free to comment, even if it's the restream, um, even if it's the re- ugh, ugh, words, even if it's the restream, as in you're catching this after it goes live, feel free to comment because I will always respond. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Sorry, that was just an automatic inflection for me. I just learned to kind of, that's my that's my demographic. That's what I do. That's what I always go to. But feel free to check us out on Instagram, Facebook Live, um, or Facebook in general, I should say, YouTube, Twitter, um, or our Spotify playlist. We haven't plugged our Spotify playlist in a really long time, but we have a Spotify playlist where I add regular songs to it that I find uplifting or are really powerful for my clients that um, you know really get you revved up to do some video. I usually use it at a time when I'm about to record a whole lot of videos or say, for example, I used it actually just before um, filming this live stream where I just needed a little bit of pick me up, a little bit of energy to make sure that I'm not just sitting here giving you guys nothing as we do a live stream because oh as I touched up on um in the last live stream where I asked and I had a lot of feedback from you guys as well where you um I had a lot of people or I felt like in a very short amount of time I had a lot of people talking about how my you know live stream or my video self is different to my normal self because it's a different situation and I was talking to a lot of people and a lot of clients who just said oh yeah I caught your live stream and yeah you're right it's a different situation of course you're gonna act different and I'm like wow I didn't realize that yeah that doesn't make sense and now talking to a lot of clients and people and people I'm friends with they say yeah of course that makes sense Zoe Duh. and again I didn't realize it at the time I was like of course you're going to be acting different and the energy levels are going to be different because you're acting off a screen or a camera or a phone as opposed to a another human being where you know you can read the levels and gauge and actually have a human no conversation so I'm going to leave you guys because I'm so tired I'm so tired and we're going to finish up and um, make sure you check out, you know, the Video Confidence Coach playlist on Spotify if you do have Spotify and you can check out and jam out to the tunes before you start doing your podcast <laughs> or before you start filming. So we'll leave you guys to it. 
I'm going to finish the stream and I'm going to